Hi, this is James at eShifter Cart. I uh, just wanted to real quick show you guys how to properly bead the seat of your tires on the rim, uh, much like they do at tire shops, things like that. I just got these all mounted with uh, my handy AMR uh, design cart lift uh, tire changer. I don't use I don't use an electric uh, tire changer or anything like that. Um, basically what you see me with trackside is what I use in the shop. So um, these are Evenco Reds for shifters, uh, a little bit softer compound. It's better to have these sitting out in the sun um, just for a short moment to warm them up. They bead better that way, um, but I'm, I'm pretty confident that I can get them beaded up anyway without any kind of a strap or uh, anything. So with that, it's always good to have something to lubricate the, uh, the wheel. And I use Windex because it dissipates. Um, when Windex doesn't stick around, it dissipates, dries out, and goes away. Um, I've seen guys use WD-40 um, and other lubricants. I don't recommend that at all because it makes the, uh, the tire slip on the wheel for one, even with bead locks. Uh, for two, it absorbs into the tire itself. So if you're using a, a 206 tire or a harder compound tire, for instance, um, you could be running those a couple of races and over a week's time, all of that is going to absorb into the bead of your tire and could cause you problems. You could lose a wheel or lose a tire off of a wheel, um, things like that if you're taking hard corners. So. Just be careful what you're using. Um, I do recommend some sort of glass cleaner that dissipates and uh, dries out and goes away. So the first thing you'll notice, um, I've got these all lined out upside down. That's just so I can do it quickly. Um, all the beads are out of the tire right here. So as the, uh, as the bead slips over the wheel and locks in, then after that you can tighten up your bead locks, but you don't want to have those um, protruding past the rim, otherwise you could cut the bead of your tire and again cause problems like uh, air leakage. One of the tools that I really enjoy using, um, this little thumb wheel with a uh, socket on it. These are sold separately, um, you can purchase them both on my website. This is what we use for bead locks. I'll get to that here in a bit after I get the, uh, the bead set. So we've got a little closer view here. Uh, when you're actually mounting your tires before you get to uh, seating the bead, just make sure that they're nice and clean. These are new, so uh, I'm in luck I don't have to clean anything. Um, also make sure that you're mounting the tires um, with the rotation that they're supposed to be. So for instance, this is a basically a white out or label out and that's the direction of the tire so this would go on the engine side of the cart um, this one is basically black out or no label out because the direction of the tire is this way so this would be the um, in this case it's on a shifter cart so it'd be the the radiator side of the cart so as I get started here, um, the reason why I have all of these lined up upside down is so that I can quickly spray each bead, push it in, flip it over, spray the other side. And now it's the correct side up so I can get to the valve stem. Um, I leave the valve in there and just use a good quality um, air chuck like this one from Motion Pro. You can get these also on my website. I'm gonna go ahead and beat this um, and then just continue on. Hopefully we can get it in one take properly. Um, but you might hear the air compressor kick on. Um, I do have my air compressor with a line pressure of 120 pounds. Um, make sure you have a good, decent air, air compressor, air compressor to, uh, to keep up with what you're doing.
to make sure and relieve the pressure quickly, otherwise you'll create a, a round tire. Um, if it's hot out or anything like that, you want to make sure and, and probably take your valve out because you can relieve that pressure more quickly. Or if you have beads that don't uh, come out very easily. So that one's set. You heard, you heard both sides uh, pop. So that one's set. The bead's on. I can go ahead and lock these down. Um, typically I'll go all at once. But just for the purpose of this video. Uh, this is why I like this thumb wheel. It's quick and easy to... Uh, get your bead locks taken care of. Now once I'm done with uh, a set of tires for a cart, usually what I'll do is add pressure back in. That way I can come back tomorrow and make sure that there's not a O-ring leaking on a bead lock or a bad valve stem core, something like that. I like to face the wheel, so in case, in case something does happen and that wheel decides to come apart, usually what they'll do This can be a scary process for some people, but you just make sure that all of your stuff is in order, clean, and uh, well maintained. You're probably not going to see a, an issue like that. We've got some other exciting videos, if you haven't seen already, um, a little presentation of new line radiators, and I go over some different uh, core values from the double and also the new max core. So be sure to check that out, as well as this project behind me, which is uh, gonna come out really soon, a KZ TM125, um, DeBay Matori prepared engine with a ceramic coated pipe, nice radiator, all the bells and whistles. I'm really excited to, uh, to roll that one out. And um, we've got more projects in the future. Thanks for watching. Get late, I can't talk. <laughs>